is how to actually know that a product you find is a winner or loser. Because if you're going to invest three, four, five thousand on a product, you want to be super certain in your process that you validated that it will work on the market. And so how do we actually determine once we find a product, whether it's something we want to go forward with or it's something we want to eliminate uh, and look at other products. And so no matter what, you need to build the confidence of confidence of going through the process and understanding what is a greenlit product versus one that's not. And so just getting to an answer immediately moves you ahead. You're going to get to a lot more no's than yeses, but at least you'll know how to validate. So let's go into Amazon and take a look. Right now, we're going to start in the new release category. This is a category in Amazon that shows all of the new products within the last three to six months that are new and selling well. So as a new seller, already those variables, that criteria fits what we're looking for. Uh, we won't always have our products found through this list, but in terms of theoretical, what we're looking for, it's a hit. So if we go down here, there's this Furbo dog camera. We're going to use this to demo today. It's a $200 product. I definitely don't recommend uh, launching product number one at, at a price like this, just because it's going to cost a lot to actually source. But what do we do next? Once we get to the product listing, we're going to use a tool called Helium 10. And we're going to run the Helium 10 X-ray tool. Helium 10 itself is plugged into the Amazon catalog. So they have access to all the sales data and all the customer search data happening on the Amazon. All right, so moving right to the Helium 10 Cerebro tool, what we see here is over 4,000 keywords indexed. And so we're gonna go create a CSV file. We wanna take these off of Amazon and do a little bit more analysis. It's just much easier to do this off of Amazon. So we wanna open up this file and really dive into where this damn Furbo dog camera is driving their sales, right? And so let's open this file up. Come on, uh, there we go. So top row, let's filter it. And what we want to do is highlight the important columns and not look at anything else. So what we want to look for is search volume. That's number of searches per month. CPR, total sales over eight days to get to page one. Remember, 85 to 90% of sales happen on page one. Huge to know that. Organic rank is where this product ranks for that keyword. So if we look at Furbo Dog Camera as a term, it has... Over 5,000 searches, 32 CPR. So about four sales a day is needed to get to page one. Obviously, that's a branded search. We wouldn't want to target that, but that's the concept. And so we want to really develop a keyword strategy that is based on high search volume, low CPR, and then keywords that our competitors are ranking for on page one because that shows that this keyword is driving conversion. So what we're gonna do is, is filter these a little bit. Search volume, minimum 1000. CPR, maximum 75. And the reason for this is you, you can, with the right strategy, you know at launch, you can generate sales. I, I mean, assuming you've done everything right, uh, and you're confident in your game, you know you can get the sales uh, to, to a point right when you launch. But over 75, that's nearing 10 sales a day to get to page one. That's, that's a lot to count on and it's expensive. So one thing you do need to know uh, a little bit about the product when you're looking at keywords, because the last test, once we filter organic rank is and what we're doing is filtering organic rank at 33 or below. The reason for 33 or below is that the there's 32 lists on page one, 85 to 90% of sales happen on page one. You gotta figure out what they're actually on page one for. And then 
what we're going to do is develop a primary keyword list of 10 to 15 keywords that have high search volume, so minimum 1,000, uh, low CPR, already filtered out, are ranking on page one. And now what we have to do is understand what what's unique about this product. So Furbo 360 dog camera, uh, color night vision, 1080p HD, two-way audio. And so you need to know the features and some benefits to understand the relevancy test of a keyword because a keyword like pet tech, right? So high search volume, low CPR, the majority of people searching that are not looking for our product. I don't know who's just searching that. It's a vague ass search term, but that's what we don't want. And that's why when you look at the actual keyword column, column A, you have to think with your actual brain, right? So everything up until that point, you're kind of just filtering out and there's no room to make a mistake. But now we're looking and saying, okay, so what actually describes our camera? Dog camera is perfect. Or what, what keyword describes our product? Dog camera does a good job. Dog camera with phone app. This is where we'd have to know, okay, does this product have a phone app? This one does because it, it's literally right in, in the uh, picture. But you would have to know to a certain point enough about your product to understand what's relevant. And the more specific the keyword, the better it is because you want 100% of people searching that to be looking for a product you sell. Obviously, you know, 100% that no one's ever going to be 100%. But if you can get very specific and you already know the search volumes there, uh, you're going to you're going to do really well. And so if we go all the way down, dog cam, also solid dog camera with treat dispenser. That's that's something we got to look and see if there's a treat dispenser. Uh, my screen is taking a second to load, barking alerts. Um, okay, so all this to, to show you that you, you have to understand your product when you're doing a keyword analysis because you have to know what's relevant and what's not. Pet, camera, two-way audio and video, that's a good one. Uh, doggy camera with phone app, yep. Uh, pet camera with treat dispenser, we don't know about that, I don't think it does. Uh, Okay, so all that to say, what we're looking for is 10 to 15 primary keywords. And so typing this out, what we want is 10 to 15 primary keywords. And these are gonna drive our entire listing, launch, initial marketing, uh, in addition to a couple other things, but this drives everything. So these are crucial. We need them to have 50,000 plus in combined search volume. Uh, we also need them to, well, yeah, l let's go through how to actually filter that. So dog camera has 26,000, right? We already know most likely if we have found 10 to 15 good ones, they'd be over 50,000, but that's the minimum. Then we want average CPR of 40 or below. That just means it, it tracks the ease of getting a page one. So there's CPR, you just want to track the average once you get to your 10 to 15 keywords and make sure that's under 40 it is set up to to really dominate and get to page one and, and capitalize on the, the Amazon honeymoon period which allows you to be seen by a lot more listings so CPR is crucial and and that is uh you know, it's very proportional to the search volume. So you see 30,000, 61 CPR, 3,000, 28 CPR, it moves a lot. It moves very proportional, but sometimes you find those outliers where it's high search volume, low CPR, as long as it's not a branded term. And as long as you see people ranking on page one for it, meaning they're driving sales, uh, then that's a banger. That's what we're looking for. And there are opp opportunities everywhere. So then the last thing is, as close to 100% directness of keywords as possible. And so what that means, that's the relevancy test of the keyword. You have to think, when, when I'm, is someone searching this, like dog camera, how many of them would actually be looking for my product? I would say most, eh, dog camera isn't that direct because there could be a, a lot of different variations, but dog camera with phone app, now that gets a lot better, right? So the more, 
specific, the more long tail the keyword, usually the better it is. Uh, okay, folks, so that's the name of the game on Amazon keyword research. Find your 10, 10 to 15 and dial in.